what I wanted to show you here was what I was speaking about earlier about how the animals stay closer together in these windy conditions. Now these impala are out in the open. Now I thought maybe they'd try and move into the thickets, but I suppose in the thickets it's even harder to hear predators. Out here in the open they can at least at least rely on their on their eyesight. But look how close this group of impala is staying together. Right or bunched around one another, really trying to keep a lookout for any potential danger. There's impala facing in all directions. So it's interesting to see and it shows you how weather can affect animal behavior and movement. It sounds like some of these uh, impala have caught the cold that Megan has got. I could hear one coughing earlier. There's a female, the second one right on the left, is actually giving off a little cough or sneeze or grunt. So I wonder if she's that one over there. Let's see if she does it again. Megan says they need some of the medicine that I've been feeding her. See, I think uh, some of the the um, the people in the in uh, in camp think that I'm a bit of a, a chemist because I've got all this medication that I carry with me but <laughs> when you are private guiding you've got to have all this stuff with you just in case for guests and that so I've always got stuff for allergies or stuff for flu or coughs or whatever even though we um, I'm not meant to um, give medication to anybody, but you can uh, show them the directions and that, and then they can decide if they'd like to take it or not. Mm. Oh, what is that? Look at that. That is very strange. I have no idea what that is. Is that a growth or something? coming out of that impala's face. That is so weird. I've never seen something like that before. It looks almost like a, a mini horn. A unicorn or, or a rhino. That is so weird. I can't tell if it's horn or or what that is actually but that's strange it's a female that, that has that I really don't know shame it must get mocked by the other impala <laughs> looks like a horn-like protrusion but that would that wouldn't make sense at all I'm really not sure what that is I don't know and you, it just shows you you see you can you can see things regularly out here that you've never seen before I've never seen anything like that and I don't know what that is I have absolutely no idea I wonder if any of the other guides have seen this before <laughs> Everyone says it looks like a unicorn. The unicorn, it's meant to be on the forehead, not on the nose. I suppose we'll let it slide. It's a unicorn. That's very interesting, very interesting. Starlight Tim, you were saying, it look, did you say it looks like a tip of a horn, maybe they got stuck? Is that what you said? Or Oh, thorn, oh, like a branch or something that got stuck on the nose. Maybe, maybe. It could very well, it could be a piece of a branch that, that, um, that this impala ran into and, um, and it broke off and got stuck in the nose. Maybe, I, I don't know.